Well, we've been looking at a lot of cars that aren't law friendly lately, so I guess it's time to get back into the law friendly grind because there are so many cars to check out. So today I thought we would look at this law friendly remake of this Japanese classic. This is the Dinka Serena, aka the Honda S600, S800, sort of all the way around that. Get a load of this awesome little Japanese sports car for GTA 5. I absolutely love these little things. And to see one that fits inside the GTA universe is always welcome. And there's actually a bunch of tuning parts for this as well. So I'm going to park up somewhere. Let's park up right here. And so here it is. And I mean, when you look at how big Michael is, it does look very small. <laughs> it looks a bit squashed in there. I mean, he is very squashed. His legs are actually going through the dashboard there. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is definitely made for Japanese people in the 1960s and 70s. Was this? Did this come out in the 60s? Either way, definitely not made for big, fat American Michael here. He's not actually fat, but I mean, just comparatively to the size of this car. Let us just open up some doors here. What have we got? We've got the hood. Oh, it opens up that way. That's always welcome. And we've got the trunk at the back. Oh, that's nicely detailed. No carpeting or anything. But that's very raw and retro. I like that. And actually, that's where you access the fuel tank. Huh. So there's the boot. And then we go through with our interior. Got some nice wood details. Got the Dinka badging going on. Let's zoom in here. Got the Dinka badging. Got our stereo. Got all of our gauges and stuff like that down here. And then actually what I would say is a pointless air system. Because, I mean, it's not going to be keeping your face warm <laughs> apart from these ones here this one just sort of warms your your butt i guess that is a manual five speed handbrake everything else it's very nice in here very nice and civilized and cool and old got some wind down windows as well very retro and then we have a nice full 3d modeled engine right there very nice and then on the front we've got our nice silver mesh grill that's very nicely textured and detailed very nice. Got the indicators going on there. I'm actually not indicating today, I don't think. That's a first. Is it really a figure eight video if you're not indicating? Hang on. Let's fix this. Oh, by the way, you guys comment and say that it's because I'm pressing a button. Actually, I've set it so that if I hold down left and right as I steer, it changes the way I'm indicating, as you can see right there. So it's just a case of what direction I happen to be steering in last when I parked. So today, let's indicate left. And there you go, as you can see, indicator's working right there on the front. And we've also got these double lights set up as well with the Dinka badge. This does look very nice also with these air vents on the side right here. And the four spokes as well, which is very cool. Right, let's have a look at some tuning parts for this. Let's go to menus customs. Let's start off with Benny's Low Rider mods first. We've got a few bits here. So we've got the grill rally plate. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Hmm. This is, this is definitely giving me some ideas already of what we're going to do on these builds. We've also got rally number plates. I guess this is at the back. It just gets rid of them. And it also gets rid of that other silver bit with the lights in. and just makes that all completely clear. We also have a combo of that and that right there. Definitely got some classic rally style looks here. I'm just going to keep that stock for now, but I'm sure we can change it later. We also have the taped headlights. This is actually a, um, a glass bulb, as you can see here. So um, you don't actually have to take the inside ones. It's got those for the outside. And then we also have some primary color headlight covers as well. Again, I'm just going to keep this stock for now. Then we'll decide on the builds once we check out the other parts. We also have the chrome trim delete. That seems to just get rid of that chrome on the top. Doesn't seem to get rid of it elsewhere. Oh, it does. It gets rid of it all the way around the back. Okay, so we can also make a bit more of a sporty look and a classical look. Different ways we can do this. And then on the livery, we have 18 liveries. Wow. Okay, so we have the yellow stripes right here on the top and also on the side. We have the white stripe version, which definitely looks better. Not really into these colored stripe ones. Definitely prefer just white. But we do also have some red stripes. We have the club racer. Definitely some old style racing one here with the uh, Chappelle number 25. Just some stickers, nothing crazy, but also the red stripe as well. Then we have the Nippon racer number 32 with uh, the Japanese flag dot right there. We have the Retro Racer. Oh, that is a cool look. We've got the white stripes, number 44, with the circle on the side. I do like that one. 
Then we also have the air hurler. Definitely got some old school style livery um, stuff here. We've got the cool hand lube, motor oil. Like like to see these um, law friendly retro brands as well. That's that's nice. Then we have the blue racer, which also adds blue around the lights. That's odd. It obviously does look a bit weird because we've got a, a sort of like a pearly paint on here. Then we have the noob. I guess this is, oh, it's supposed to be like moon eyes. <laughs> it's just called noob instead of moon eyes. That's uh, an interesting take. So we have the moon eyes style livery. Oh, we've also got the belly up as well. Okay, I actually have a feeling about this. I might be wrong, but I have a feeling I made the original PNG for this because I think I remember scaling this up to make my own belly up livery on a truck when I was playing around with this. And I'm pretty sure I put this on the um, Vanilla Works Discord. So I have a feet. I could be completely wrong. This could have been made by someone else. It could have been taken from somewhere else. But I definitely made a version. And I wonder if that's it. But I, I have no clue if, if that was my doing. Uh, then we also have the P's and Q's. This is definitely a little bit too modern for this car. Not really into that one. Then we have the Ron. Number 93. There's some really cool stuff here. But I, I do want to get a move on here. But we have number 58 here. We have the epic right here. Oh, that's supposed to be like, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, no, I've forgotten the name. It's the company that does all the models and the model paints and stuff. I've completely forgotten the name. Then we have the big old juice right there. We have the kickbacks. We have the Jakey's Lager. And then we have the Redwood, just the classics right here. For now, I'm going to keep that stock. Or oh, I might go for the Retro Racer. I think I'll do that once this build is over. But for now, let's just go through and have a look on our front bumper option. So we have the stock. We have the performance front bumper. Ah, just gets rid of that around there. That's a nice look. That's a nice look. That will also go well with the rally style stuff. Although we do have some rally bumpers coming up. We also have a full front bumper delete. We have, ah, here we go. With the rally lights as well. Rally bumper one. Rally bumper two with the full fog lights. I do like that. It would have been nice if we could have had this with a yellow lens, actually. Because I just had a sudden thought for a really nice build. But, do you know what? I like that. I think we will go for a rally build on this first one. And then I'll make just a cool one on the second one. So, uh, I'm going to go for rally number one. Then on the rear bumper, we have the stock. We have the performance rear. And then we have the bumper delete. As this one is supposed to be rally, which has the bumper delete on the front, I'm going to go for the bumper delete on the rear. On the skirts, we have the mud flaps. Ah, there we go. They're right there, the Dinka mud flaps. We have the side vent delete, which gets rid of that side vent on the side. And then we also have a combo of the two. As this is supposed to be a rally one, I want to go for the mud flaps, but I do want to keep that side vent. So I'll keep it like that. On the exhaust, we have the stock. Very interesting exhaust here with a big, massive back box that's completely visible. Then we have the performance exhaust. And the racing exhaust. The racing exhaust definitely makes it look a lot less retro. Hmm. Do I go for the complete retro rally racer look? I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go for the double performance. Then on the grill, we have the stock. We have the classic right there. I do like the stock grill. Uh, especially with the indicators and stuff in the middle. I do like how that looks. This one sort of gets rid of that. Hmm. Then we also have the performance one. We have the lightweight then we have the rally grill for even more lights. Or we have number two. I think as I've gone for the covered ones, I'm going to go for that with the covered ones there as well. Then on the hood, we have the options of the stock. We have the hood pins, which are just right there. Nicely detailed. We have the performance hood, which adds this scoop thing right here. And then we have the classic hood. How does that compare? Ah, it gets rid of the vents on the top. Right, for this one, I'm going to go for the performance herd as I want this to be a, a nice performance rally racer. Then on the fenders, we have the racing splitter. That's going to be at the front right there. And then we also have the engine cover at the bottom right there. Ah, there's actually a full kit guard for the underneath. I'm going to go for the kit guard as that's full rally. Then on the roof, oh, we have a lot of options for this. I was not expecting this suddenly a slew of options here. We have the stock. We have the low-profile windshield. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is awesome. Which also moves the rearview mirror down to the bottom there. Oh, my God. Okay, that doesn't go with this look, but that is that's an interesting choice. We also have this with the roll bars. Or we have the lightweight roll cage or the full roll cage 
Wow, okay, we also have the lowered soft top, which compared to the stock one is... Ah, oh, of course, so we actually had the roof and now... Oh, actually, no, it didn't spawn with the roof, did it? It spawned like this. Ah, so the stock should actually have the hard roof on it with this soft bit at the back, which looks kind of weird. So we have the lowered soft top, then we also have this with the roll bars, and then the cages. Ooh, yeah, then we also have the hard top, and then we have the hard top with the internal cages. We've also got the roof rally plate at the top. If I'm going to go for the front one, not sure if I will with these fogs here. I might keep that one for the roof, but we also have the roof rack. We have the spare wheel, and then we have these combinations here with the roll cage. Right, I'm going to actually go for this roll cage and the tire and the roof rack, as I think that's got a very cool like road rally look to it. And then it's just a case of upgrading brakes transmission suspension uh, for the paints i want to go for a nice classic color something like this cream maybe maybe a brown oh okay there's yeah, something like this saddle brown definitely has a nice vintage look to it then on the wheels i actually quite like the stock wheels i don't want to have anything crazy for this first build hmm i don't know what to go for here maybe something in the muscle section will probably work best maybe we'll go for this look that's a look that could work or something like that. They're the police wheels, but yeah, I think I'm actually, I'm going to go for this right here and I'll make the wheels dark colored. Mm, that definitely, actually, that adds a bit of a modern twist with the darker color, I think. Okay, actually, I think I'll just go for these steel looking wheels right here and then we'll go for the grill rally plates and also we'll get rid of the plates on the rear. So we'll go full rally spec. We'll go for the taped headlights. Then we'll go for the chrome trim delete. And then we'll go for, hmm, what have we got here? I think, oh, look, we've also got the numbers coming through on this. Oh, that is a cool look. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Although now that we've got it like this, I think that the brown perhaps isn't the best color choice. Maybe a darker red, garnet red. Yeah, that's quite a nice vintage color, isn't it? Sunset, oh, sunset red. Oh, it also adds this classic plate on the rear as well. I like that. We didn't actually check if any of these liveries added this sort of stuff to the back. We mostly looked at the front and side. Oh my god, look, they actually have different number plates. Oh, that is cool. Oh, the new one also has newbie. That's nice. Yep, I'm going to go for the retro racer with the old style British number plate. Although oh, the font's slightly off, but the old style British number plate also there on the front as well. And there we go. That's a winner. And actually, this red ends up looking a little bit brown anyway. Yeah, that's a winner. That's an absolute winner. In fact, we need to go somewhere a little bit more sandy and dusty, I think. And here we go for me to spin out instantly. This is this is good. This is awesome. I am liking this car. Got some nice solid parts for this. This is, again, something that we haven't really seen much from Rockstar, but in a, an old classic Japanese car in. This car fits in wonderfully. It's well made. It looks great definitely a big fan of course i will do a stance build in just a second but there we go i also i should point out i'm using my keyboard for driving so my quality of driving has definitely gone down a lot recently <laughs> what a wonderful car right let's now start one of these up because i am a little curious to see how that looks and here she is in gasoline green stanced out with gold wheels I didn't go crazy. I just wanted to go for like a, you know, just a classic look that's also just been modernized a little bit. But I decided to go for some retro color. I went for the um, the splitter at the front. I went for the performance bumpers, front and rear. Also with the performance exhaust as well. Just, I thought I'd bring this into like the modern era of modifying cars. And also I went for the big uh, tubular bars around here as well. And I think that is a winner. I think that actually looks pretty nice. It does look quite resto moddy, but I'm definitely all for that. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below, though. Which one of these do you prefer? This car definitely doesn't suit these roads. I think we need to put this in a more suitable place. And I'd say the Pacific Coast Highway is probably a great place to put this car. This definitely fits in. Get a load of that. That looks lovely. I'm liking this build. I'm liking it. It's not too crazy. It doesn't take away too much from it being old, but at the same time, it's definitely got a nice modern twist and it is modified and it's nice and unique. But you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below. How would you modify yours? You can let me know. If you have watched all the way to the end of this video, you can say big goods in the comment section below. 
just to let me know that you watched the whole thing. I think some of you are cheating, by the way. I have a feeling because you guys can't lie to me. I do see all of my analytics, so I do know that I, I have a feeling that more of you are just seeing other people quote a word in the comments and then saying it, or you skip into the end and saying the word. But either way, I hope you have watched the whole thing and you have enjoyed the video. But that is going to be it. I have recently bought the game Automation. I keep talking about playing other games, then I never do. I do genuinely plan to do them. There is just so much stuff to check out in GTA 5. But I am thinking of doing a video on Automation where I try and build my own car. It might, it might be terrible, but I'd like to give it a go. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! Oh.